Hello guys, I am Pawan. In this playlist, we are going to discuss about each and every solution of daily lead code challenges. This playlist contains solution of daily lead code challenge from 6th July of 2022. Yeah, we are going to discuss our first problem, which is Fibonacci series. Okay guys, our algorithm for our Fibonacci series will be as follows. We start from 0, 0 to 1 and some of these two elements will be 1 and 1 with 1, 2 and 2 with 1, 3, 3 with 2, 5, 5 with 3, 8, 8 with 5, 13, so on. Ok, I will write 13. Uh, it's an nth element from 0 to n, we are traversing from 0 to n. Ok, now we are using our uh, bottom up approach for solving this uh, Fibonacci series. It will be a zeroth element. It will be a first element. Okay, we'll initialize two variables. First and next. Uh, we're gonna point zero to first and next equal to one. That means f equal to zero and uh, n equal to zero, n equal to one. Uh, and uh, we start our uh, for loop from second element. I mean. If we consider this as a 0th element and this is a index 1 element and index 2nd element. From this element we gonna traverse. Ok guys. Uh, now we start uh, coding. Let me open lead code. And as we discussed. First we will initialize a variable with, the, with value 0. And int another variable next will be of 1. And we iterate from i equal to 2 and i will be less than or equal to n i plus plus ok uh, we are going to use a swapping technique so first we need to initialize another variable i will initialize as sum it will be equal to 0 at beginning and uh, that sum will be equal to our first element and our next element. First element and next element. Now, as I said, we, we are using a swapping technique. This is nothing but a double pointer, uh, double pointer approach. And first will be equal to next. And next will be equal to our sum. That is, for first slope i equal to 2, our sum will be, ok, I will show here, for 0, it will be a 0, for 1, it will be 1, and from 2, our first will be 0 plus 0 plus 1, it's 1, and for i equal to 3, 1 plus 1, it will be 2, i equal to 4, 2 plus 1, it will be 3. So, uh, you gonna print return next. Okay, next uh, will be equal to sum. Uh, okay. Um, let me try to run the code. Ok, it's accepted. Let me submit. Ok, ok, I have forgot to put a for loop here. So sorry, not a for loop, it's a if statement. If, the, if n equal to 0, you can see uh, uh, input given 0, but our output is 1. Uh, expected is 0. If n equal to 1, we just need to return our first element. That's it. Now we'll submit. I think it should be fine. Yeah, 100%. Okay, thank you guys. Bye bye.